I, I do think what, what this heralds really is fundamentally a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're going to go to the moon. We're going to have a base on the moon. We're going to have send people to Mars and, and make life multiplanetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. What an amazing week it's been for SpaceX and NASA. Congratulations to everybody involved. I cut together a really quick video just kind of highlighting the post landing press conference that Bob, Doug, Jim, and Elon spoke at. So anyways, I won't hold you up anymore. I hope you enjoy this. I think it really captures the essence of the event. And uh, here we go on to crew one. We're not gonna stand right now. For those of you who have done this before, you know it's not pleasant standing for a few hours after you get back. Five hours ago, we were bobbing around in the Gulf of Mexico. This has been a uh, quite an odyssey the last five, six, seven, eight years, five years since Bob and I started uh, working on this program. And to be where we are now, the first crewed flight of uh, Dragon is just unbelievable. We said it before, just a tremendous privilege to be part of this program, to be part of NASA and to spend two months on uh, the International Space Station with one of the greatest officers, crewmates, astronauts, Chris Cassidy, it just was a, a, a real pleasure for both of us. And I'm sure Bob will talk about the spacewalks, but to, just to see those two work out on the International Space Station, you're not going to see anything like that again. It just was, uh, it was just amazing to be part of that. And then, you know, the flight of uh, Dragon on Falcon, and then the reentry today. It's uh, it's a lot to process. As I said five hours ago, we were in a spaceship bobbing around, making prank satellite phone calls to whoever we could get a hold of, which was kind of fun, by the way. You can send him the bill for the sat phone. But anyway, we we really appreciate all of you coming to say hi and welcoming us back. It's uh, it's a little bit overwhelming. I think uh, for both Doug and I, the thing that we're most excited about having accomplished with this mission is, you know, it's written right on that sign where it says uh, launch America and then of course land America today. Uh, as we went through our years as astronauts here at the Johnson Space Center, uh, we got to live through a, a big chunk of the shuttle era and a big chunk of the assembly of the space station. Uh, when the space shuttles uh, retired, when Doug took his uh, final flight to wrap that up, I think it was a sad day for us and because there's something special about having that capability to launch and, and bring your own astronauts home. And uh, we went through a lot of years without that capability. And I think we're both super, super proud to have been just a small part of the team that uh, accomplished bringing those space flights back to the Florida coast and bringing that capability back to America. Today, when we got the wake-up calls from our boys telling us a little bit about what they were looking forward to, uh, which was us coming home and, uh, in Theo's case, getting a new dog, it was it was a wonderful morning, and we very much appreciated it. And so, again, I think this kind of comes full circle. And I think for the SpaceX team, we couldn't have asked for a, a more wonderful team to work with. I think, uh, you know, we definitely are our old dogs and like some of our old tricks because it's not always because lazy sometimes it's because we did it before and we know an easy solution and we try to share that with folks and that's really as we go forward to further activities whether it's in low earth orbit to the moon or beyond we need to figure out the best way to share what nasa knows with the contractor team and help them be as successful as possible and I think all of us are going to have memories now for the rest of our lives when they launched. They, they knew that when they were doing this, it was a test flight. They also knew that they were going to be responsible for conducting a lot of operations on the International Space Station for a period of months to include what ended up being four spacewalks, spending that extended period of time on the International Space Station, and then flying back and amazingly coming off the jet just right now after being weightless for the last 63 days, coming off the jet, sitting down and doing a public event. You just can't put into words how important this was for our country to have access to space again from our own soils. I would also say that what we just saw is the beginning of what will be a whole lot more activity in the future. Right now, when we talk about commercial crew, we're gonna go for the Dragon, we're gonna go from development into operations. Of course, we're always gonna learn and we're always gonna modify, but making that transition from development to operations is gonna be a challenge, but the NASA team is up for it. But it goes beyond that because we still have Starliner 
And we need to get Starliner flying. And then we've got to get Orion flying. And we've got to get Starship flying. There is a lot to do in front of us, but here's what we know. We have before the House and the Senate the biggest budget request in NASA's history in nominal dollars. If we get the budget request that is before us right now next year, we are going to go up an order of magnitude, and that is necessary. Because today we're flying into low Earth orbit, and in a few short years, we'll be flying to the moon. And not just go once or twice, but we want to go sustainably with a purpose. And what I'm asking for our members of Congress to do is look at what we've done with what we have. And if you fund us at our budget request level, we will be on the moon. And we will be successfully on the moon with our commercial part and with our international partners. It's been nine years since America launched and landed from its own soil. And yet here we are. Then the next step is we're going on to the moon and then on to Mars. This is about momentum. It starts today and it finishes when we put an American flag on Mars. And I will tell you, there was a, a moment, maybe not even a year ago, when we had some significant challenges. I sent a tweet, Elon, and, and I said that it's time to deliver. And I tweeted it at Elon Musk. And I want to tell you, Elon, you, you responded absolutely, magnificently, and you have, in fact, delivered. You have delivered beyond anything any of us would have expected. All of the reports I'm getting from all of the teams on commercial crew is that this mission went as good as we could have hoped. And we are so grateful for the team at SpaceX, the great team in NASA's commercial crew program, and all of the operators that helped us to get to this point. So I just want to say thank you, Elon Musk. The time is yours. I, I do think what, what this heralds really is fundamentally uh, a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're going to go to the moon, we're going to have a base on the moon, we're going to have send people to Mars and, and make life multiplanetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about. And this is the result of an incredible, incredible amount of work from people at SpaceX, people at NASA. This has been eight, 18 years to, to finally fly people to, to orbit and back. And I mean, I really came here because I just wanted to see Bomb Duck, to be totally frank. I was like, thank goodness. And I'm not very religious, but I prayed for this one. So just once again, thanks everyone that played a role in this. I think this is something that the whole world can take some, some uh, pleasure in and, and can really look at this as an achievement of humanity. These are difficult times when, you know, there's, there's not that much good news. And, and I think this is one of those, those things that is universally good, no matter where you are on planet Earth, this is a good thing. And, and I hope it brightens your day. Thank you.